Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at diagnosing Wi-Fi problems in a pretty unique way. We're going to do this with PowerShell. So you want to open that up. Since you're using Windows 10, we want to use the Windows key plus X. Press those two and look for PowerShell Admin. Once you have that up, I will link to a page here where you can highlight this and use control V to insert it and press enter. It won't take long. It's going to build all these things up into XML, HTML, CAB files. You could take it with you. You could send it to somebody who asked you to get a report like this. And let's take a look. So here we are. What time we got here? 312. So as you can see, 312 is the report. So you can open either this with the date or latest. They should be the same in case you have numerous reports in here. And when you do, you're going to get an HTML page. Now, this is kind of neat. It's color coded. Some of the colors are very similar, so it helps like if you're close to a green like these two or you're close to a orange, for example, to note orange D. So we could do, let's say network has no connectivity. So there's two things you can do here. One is to put your mouse over here and you're going to see what the change reason is, if any. And if you click on this, it's going to expand and you can see how long this page is. It's going to drop you down. It's going to show you the exact details, which I'm not going to do because it shows my IP address and a bunch of other information. So we'll jump over to this to show you. As you can see, we continue here showing you step by step everything you just saw. It also worth noting now that here's all the other information it gives you. So you might have noticed earlier on that which mentioned what kind of a, a computer I had, et cetera, et cetera. Session durations, different summaries, script outputs, what network adapters you have, your sessions, durations. Well, there's a good bit of information in there. So what you're going to see after we looked at this, and as I mentioned, you click on one of these letters. So I don't know if this is the exact one, but if we clicked on the orange one and we came down here, you see with this check mark, the minus here, that it is unchecked. So here is the problem. It disconnected from a wireless network. Let's see why. The network is disconnected by the driver. So that at least points you into maybe a driver issue or actually in this case, it was probably late at night and my networking was shut off. You also have other ones you can skim through. For example, you'll see the little plus sign here. WLAN extensibility module has stopped. You can see the date and the time, the event ID, and you can once again click this so that it expands like this and gives you all the information that you need for that problem until you can figure out where your problem lies. Now, you can always jump back up to this at any point. You'll see the top button right here, and that is in there repeated, repeated. So anytime you look at something, go, oh, that's not my problem, hit top, come back here and click on something else. It's uh, pretty neat. I like the amount of information that it hands you. Uh, like I said, you've got username, domain, all your network adapters under here with my info, machine ID, operating system, what it is. So it's got some basic system information. It's kind of a bonus, but this is a really, really neat way to diagnose network problems, Wi-Fi problems, especially if you don't feel like downloading something. Uh, Windows will only keep track of three days, though, so keep that in mind. You, know, you can't go back seven, eight, ten days, two weeks, three days. So it's probably helpful that the last three days you were having problems is when you want to run this app. There you go. So it's, it's a PowerShell thing. I think you'll dig it. As always, click down here to subscribe. We thank you, as always, for watching, and hopefully we'll see you next time.